according to Goldwyn, a verbal contract isn't worth the paper it's written on. I definitely agree with this quote. Through personal experiences with friends, family, and all betting, this quote represents through all three experiences. First off, with friends, we all, I believe we all have had a personal experience with them by saying, do I get lunch tomorrow by any chance? Making kind of a verbal contract right there. They'd be like, yeah, let's go over there by like three o'clock, let's go do this. Yeah, let's go. Next day comes around, 2.30 comes. Yeah, are we still gonna go get lunch? Maybe no answer. Maybe around by 2.50 you'll get, yeah, 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 let's actually, let's, can we move it to 3.30, that's cool? Be like, yeah, that, yeah, that's fine. Then three o'clock comes and be like, are we still gonna go over to lunch by any chance? By 3.30 and be like, ah, oh, no, actually I'm kind of busy. Can we maybe go at four? And be like, yeah, yeah, okay. You're getting a little, like, get a little angsty, getting a little, okay, come on, guy, let's do this. And then pretty soon four o'clock comes and then it's like, okay, can we do it tomorrow if that's, if that's cool? And you're like, dude, I just put my whole lunch around you and now you're gonna back out like that? Come on, we had a contract that, there. And it's not really a written contract, it's a verbal contract where people easily break it day-to-day -day basis. Even with family too. I've had experiences with family too. I'll have a planned date to maybe go with my uncle go surfing and be like, hey, let's go surfing in the morning. So he's like, yeah, let's definitely go do this. We're easily gonna go do this in the morning. And then pretty soon the morning comes, I'm all ready to go. I already showered too, even though I'm gonna go in the ocean. I don't know why I do that. I still do it. <laughs> I get up in the morning and then I'm like, oh, let's go, let's go. Are you still gonna go? And he's like, he's like, okay, let's go. Just give me 10 more minutes. I'm like, I was like, dude, we're supposed to go. You're the one who planned this with me. And then he's like, nah, nah, it's okay. Just give me 10 more minutes. I promise I'll get up. 10 minutes go by, 15 minutes go by. Pretty soon I'm in the car just driving to the beach by myself. Personal experiences too, with betting, with through verbal contracts too, are tricky ones and easily get broken every single day. I'll have a verbal contract betting and be like, hey, I bet you 10 bucks, maybe I can make this piece of trash in this trash can over there. So you'd be like, okay, let's do it. You make the piece of trash over there, Pretty soon, ah, oh, no, I didn't shake on it. I didn't shake on it. And you're like, dude, you just bet me. If I made it, you'd be like, okay, give me the 10 bucks. It's just, it's just loopholes here and there without even writing down to. It just doesn't make any sense. Through family, through friends, through gambling, verbal contracts are not as impactive and helpful as written contracts. Thank you. Right, I've got uh, one kind of negative thing that I want to point out about the content issue and then one negative thing that I'll point out about the presentation issue and then everything else is really solid so let's get the negative stuff out of the way. You use it, you're using the quote as the attention device and you don't want to do that. Okay, okay. so that's just unnecessary. I think uh, there's another way that you can get us involved in that and it'll be a lot more interesting. See, that wasn't a big deal, that was just a little thing. Uh, you've got a very clear statement of what your point of view on this is. There's a very clear preview of what the supporting structure is going to be. Uh, in the body of the speech, you move from one idea to the next clearly. I thought it flowed very smoothly. You've got good energy in the presentation. Your language uh, moves together effectively. Uh, I, you know, Everything on the pacing and your voice is, is very solid in the presentation. Uh, the the, the nonverbal, the visual elements of the delivery are also, for the most part, pretty strong. The one thing that maybe is a little bit iffy is you have a tendency to kind of uh, do the fig leaf performance uh, okay, you know, occasionally when you don't know what to do with your hands. You've got it, you're holding your hands down in front of you like, oh, you know, I've been caught naked here, and so <laughs> let me put my hands down in front of me. Uh, that happens for a, a big chunk in the middle of the speech, in the second half of the speech it's less so you got a little bit more engaged and your gestures were a little bit more naturalistic I thought there were some good indicators when you were presenting as well your facial expressions look animated uh, and uh, you're looking around at us uh, pretty good although I'm not sure you can see us if you don't have your glasses on you know maybe that's a way to deal with your anxiety if I take my glasses off everybody's face is fuzzy and then I don't really have to worry about whether or not they're reacting to me 
So I was a little bit suspicious of that, but it, it came out pretty, pretty well. And I thought that you did a good job at the conclusion of the speech. Uh, the pacing is, is good because it keeps us engaged, but it is a little quick, and uh, so the speech ends up being short. But it's not that it didn't have content. There was some good content in it. And you made your point, so uh, that's the best thing to do is you know, make sure that you've got a point, you're not repeating yourself, and then you're done. All right, thank you.